To help us compare sensitivity with specificity, we are going to imagine that a group of people are being tested for a condition. These white squares represent individuals without the condition, and the red squares represent individuals with it. This yellow line represents a cutoff level for a test. To the left of the line, the tests return negative, and to the right, they return positive. When calculating specificity, we need to look at the position of the white squares in relation to the yellow line. To the left of the line, we have the true negatives, and to the right, the false positives. To calculate the specificity, we must divide the number of true negatives by the total number of people without the condition. In this cohort, there are 80 true negatives and 8 false positives. Thus, there are 88 people without the condition. By dividing 80 by 88, we find that the specificity of the test is about 91%. When calculating sensitivity, we need to look at the position of the red squares in relation to the yellow line. To the left of the line, we have the false negatives, and to the right, the true positives. To calculate the sensitivity, we must divide the number of true positives by the total number of people with the condition. In this cohort, there are 30 true positives and 3 false negatives. Thus, there are 33 people with the condition. By dividing 30 by 33, we find that the sensitivity of the test is about 91%. If we were to change the threshold for a positive test, then the specificity and the sensitivity of the test would also change. By shifting the threshold to the left, we can obtain 100% sensitivity. This means that with this test, the condition would be detected in every person who has it. Because of the high sensitivity, this test could be used as a screening test. The specificity, however, has dropped to 80%. So although the test is detecting the condition in everyone who has it, it is also incorrectly identifying the condition in people who do not have it. If we shift the threshold to the right, we can obtain 100% specificity. So with this test, the condition will only be detected in people who have it. Because of the high specificity, this test could be used as a confirmatory test. The sensitivity, however, has dropped to 61%. So although the test is not detecting the condition in individuals who do not have it, it is also incorrectly excluding the condition in people who do have it. In this cohort, the two groups are overlapping in a way that at this threshold, the specificity and sensitivity of the test are both above 90%. However, if there was more overlap, then both the sensitivity and specificity of the test would be lower. And conversely, if there was less overlap, then both the sensitivity and specificity of the test would be higher. While the amount of overlap has an effect on the performance of the test, we will note that the prevalence of the condition does not have an effect on either the specificity or the sensitivity.